Hello everyone, and welcome to the 2.5 Axis presentation. This presentation we will discuss on some of the improvements in the existing procedures facing and chamfer. In addition, we will get to know some new NC procedures, slotting, helicoil, corner plunge, and safe profile. Okay, so let's start and get into details. I will start with a new option in the existing procedure facing outside in parallel. This new option is available for machining method parallel and it makes sense for climb or conventional milling only. This new option is mostly efficient cases of long rectangles geometry. The rapid motion will be along the shorter rib. The order of the side steps is now different. It goes from side to side instead of one after each other. So let's see a short simulation. Let's see the difference between regular parallel and outside in parallel. This is the old parallel. Now we can see the new option outside in parallel. As you can see, the cutter goes from side to side. In addition to the existing profile procedures, in version 15 we introduce new safe open and close profile procedures. The cutter is being checked against the check surfaces and the holder checked against the check surfaces and against the stock. As you can see in the image, all gouging and colliding motions are removed or cut and new connections are created. As you can see, I selected the clamps as check surface. The selected contour is under the clamps. Okay, let's uh, see the results. System cuts the motion and created new connections above the clamps. A new improvement in the approach and retract motions for the chamfer procedure. In case the safe milling is active or check surfaces is in use, the next priority will be opposite tangential motion. First example is without check surface. The retract motion is regular and can damage the faces that we don't want to mill. case that we will add some check surfaces to the procedure, like in this example, the retract motion will be opposite tangential. slot procedure. 
This is a new procedure that slots the center line, a skeleton, of a slot-shaped pocket. This new procedure only deals with the stock removing stage of the slot machining, and it doesn't deal with the wall and floor finish stages. A new column in the pocket manager table is slot likelihood. Each pocket in the pocket manager gets a rank between 0 to 100, defining how much it is a slot. The range is between 0, not a slot, to 100, definitely a slot. In case there is no need to recognize the skeleton, there is an option in the preference Calculate center line automatically on and off. If a slot procedure opens before the system recognizes the skeleton, a message will pop up. The system will ask you to calculate the center lines in order to use the slot procedure. The system can recognize open and closed slot ends shrinks on close and extend on open. In addition, distance can be set for extend open slot or to shrink close slot. Slotting procedure support simple slot and trochoidal. In case the geometry input is from pocket selection, the Z values are directly from the pocket data and cannot be changed. In case the geometry is from center line, it behaves like profile. Slotting procedure is included for all. In case the user wants to select pockets for geometry, a license is required. Another new procedure to discuss in this presentation is the corner plunging. This is not under main selection 2.5 axis, but it's located under remachine. Why remachine? Because it can be used as kind of re-rough. This procedure creates plunging motion at rounded corners of the pocket. The input comes from the pockets created by the pocket manager. So manufacturer automation license is required. Plunging motions are parallel to the cylinder of the corner. It can be vertical or slanted. This procedure basically removing material after a previous cutter quickly. The retract can be horizontal or projected. The user can define the number of passes. Okay, so let's have a look on this new procedure. As you can see, for geometry, I can only use pockets. The system creates a center line in the middle of the round corner. For approach and retract, retract type can be horizontal or projected. And I can define how many passes I want and the distance between the passes. Okay, let's see the results. As you can see, the track is projected on the round corner of the pocket and I have two passes. Let's do a uh, 
short simulation. You can see the remaining stock after a bigger diameter tool. And the system remove the extra material in a fast way. Okay. Another new procedure for 15 is helical milling, closed profile. The procedure works only on closed contours. It can mill the entire part in a single pass. Check surface and safe milling are available. Cutter compensation, tip location only. Okay, so let's see the new procedure. Under 2.5 axis, helical close profile. Only closed contours. Down step can be set. Let's see the results. A continuous movement all along the path. Only one approach and only one retract. new auto and endpoint feature with three available options on largest segment at the corner or at the selected segment please note that the endpoint button is a higher priority and will override any selection The auto endpoint is available only for helical closed profile. The auto start point is displayed for all the closed profile procedures. It has the same three options. For Pocket Manager, we have a new improvement in version 15, multi directions. The system detects pockets from all main di direction of the plate. Two option top side direction, which means is out the bottom, or all main directions. The system will create UCS for each direction. Okay, thanks for watching this movie.